Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Living Simply and Fun. I'm your host, Rita. Tonight, I will be reviewing this little short patrol. I believe it's 5x46. Uh, it's like a Robusto. It is by the Deadwood Tobacco Company. It is called the Sweet Jane. Now, the one on their website is a 2016. This is a 2015. Miss Amy's had this in the humidor for about six months or so, so it says this is exclusively made by the Deadwood Tobacco by Drew Estate, uh, Esteli, Nicaragua. Miss Vaughn wants the Ford and tell us everything, so it says it's a smooth, mellow cigar, both rough cut biker type and a lady cigar smoker. This has a sweet cap. Now let me smell this so I don't screw up. So. On this side, I'm not picking up anything. On this side, I'm picking up a sweet cap. I did a V-cut, so it says here the wrapper is a dark and supple with aroma similar to pipe tobacco and flavor the hint of mocha with a touch of earthiness. This cigar is about a 5.46 Matola, and it's easy on the palate. Now, I've recommended this cigar time and time again to my cousin-in-law Tara. Now Tara is a young a young woman who um who uh loves sweet cigars but the guy next to me uh, he's camera shy has said that the last one he smoked was really good. By the way can I ask you where's the uh, other lighter? I can't find yours yet again. I was just about to these uh, things are trying to All right. Anyways, I'm going to try to fire this up before the lighter basically fails because I've been heating it up in my pocket so I can get a good smoke going. Now, I did the sniff test and frankly, I didn't pick up anything. So I missed a spot in the um in the um cigar. So let me relight this baby before we get too into it. This is a sweet Jane, so I assume uh and Miss Vaughn, if you're watching this, thank you so much for uh making me with Drew Estate. This is a Drew Estate cigar. It doesn't say much on the website because, well, it is somewhat, as they say, a, um, as a secret type thing. So, um, let me just switch this little corner here so it burns even in here because I, the lighter is not doing too well there. So, as I keep the lighter in my pocket, I gotta say the first initial puff of this cigar is just a blast of pure Sugar. This is one of those sweet, sweet cigars. It's something that I would recommend any woman try if they haven't. That's why I was going to give this cigar to my cousin-in-law, but she's like, no, that's okay. Give it to your cousin Cor, and he's like, well, you know, smoke it or hand it to him or let me review it. Well, Amy donated this, and this is a 2015 I believe me and Aaron reviewed a 2015, but I also think me and Aaron reviewed a 2014. I will, when I put this video together, I will try to look for the link where me and Aaron were doing the review of the Sweet Jane. I think he got a 10 pack or a 5 pack and smoked it. Now, I do want to say, if you haven't checked these cigars out, check out the Deadwood Tobacco Company. They sell by the stick and I believe 5 count or 10 count. But they're made by Drew Estate, so, um, you know, and this is a really good, sweet cigar. Now, before I get into it, before I keep turning my head slightly and watching my cousin smoke a cigarette, bless his heart, he's a great guy, I'm going to tell you the flavors of this cigar. The aroma, it smells like a pipe tobacco, but it ain't pipe tobacco. The initial puff, sweetness. I would say this is a sweet cedar flavor. 
through and through. Sweet sh uh, cedar, maybe a little molasses of caramel. Now, a few of you out there in the past have accused me and Aaron of making flavors up, but we don't make it up. So, and I see Mendel there. So, Mendel is another dog. So, the bottom line is, is these cigars are really highly recommended. It's like another cigar, and I'm not saying in in review wise, and I'm only bringing this up for uh, the reason for talking about cigars, I just got to touch this up so it doesn't canoe, is I want to bring up another brand for a second that I've reviewed recently while it's freezing outside at 18 degrees was the Isabella Gorilla. Now my cousin tried the Gorilla and he said, damn, that is a fine cigar. Now he tried an Isabella Serpentine in June and again he loved it a lot. Now I haven't got any information, you know, for some of you out, you guys haven't, some of you out there haven't told me if you buy it by the stick. John Pyatt, if you're watching this, please let me know if you can buy it by the, is it by the stick or by the box. Now, um, I'm comparing Isabella with the Deadwood because they're pretty much pretty damn spot on. The only difference is Isabella blends their own and makes their own. So they have teams that go down to, you know, the factory that makes it. This we're going to Nicaragua with the help of Miss Vaughn. Now, Miss Vaughn chose this blend. So, it's not Mr. Vaughn, it's Miss Vaughn. So, with that said, I just got to say before I keep going on and on and on, to please, please, uh, check out our review of The Sweet Jane by Aaron. And by myself, we did solos, and then check out the uh, Isabella Serpentine and the Gorilla. All right, please stay tuned for the halfway point of this sweet, sweet cigar. Thank you, and stay tuned. Welcome everyone to the halfway point of this um, Deadwood c cigar, the Deadwood Tobacco Cigar Company, uh, Sweet Jane. This is a 2015 that's been in probably Amy's humidor for probably a good, um, a good half year, two years. I gotta say, the sweetness went away. I'm picking up pure cedar, hints of oak, and earthiness. Maybe more of a dark earth, you know, like dirt. But, this cigar, the sweetness has worn away in the first third. The halfway point is pretty good. Um, there is no spice at all in the cigar. Which I'm surprised, but it's still lightly sweet like honey and very mellow. So, Miss Vaughn, if you're watching this, you made a great Vitola. This is just heaven, you know, very good and very happy, so, good smoke output, so far, very good, one of those cigars you can just love or hate, and because Drew Estate worked with Miss Vaughn and the Deadwood Tobacco Company, Miss Vaughn is the proprietor and owner and proprietor of that Deadwood Tobacco Company in Deadwood, South Dakota, this cigar is really good. I understand from Aaron, bless his heart, where she was around, that Deadwood Cigar Company has a cigar lounge apparently in the jail. They are in an old building that's an old jail downstairs. I don't know if the tobacco company is in the jail or eh, whatever, but that's what I heard. So, in my opinion, it is pretty damn good. I have a couple little wonkinesses here. I do want to say it's been burning about 90% on a razor. I've had to do a light fix here and there so it doesn't canoe and burn funny. But you got to also remember the reason for it burning funny is most likely me or most likely the, the weather. The weather is really doing a number on us all. That includes smoking cigars and
and trying to keep a cigar lit. Now, my cousin did an experiment, as you all know, and the cigar lighter was the problem. The weather, the temperature, the temperature right now here in Oregon, I'm not telling you where I am in Oregon, just because, but it's about 90 minutes outside of Portland. It is approximately 30 degrees right now, and very cold and, uh, you know, low freezing. Now, we're due for an ice storm here. Same with where I'm at home, as you all know, Moses Lake. So, if all goes well, I do want to say I will be home Saturday. All goes well. I do know, to let you all know, I want your prayers for all of you out there. I'm having a minor surgery coming up on Thursday. These minor surgeries are preparing me for a big surgery. So, my first minor surgery is on Thursday. As you all know, I've probably told you this, but you didn't know. I'll tell you again. The facial surgeon who's doing the, did the facial reconstruction wants to do more facial reconstruction since the insurance covered it. So, and all of you out there know, when I do, when Aaron was around, and when it was warmer, and when it was not freezing, hey Mo, Mo is my cousin-in-law and cousin's dog, it's a 13-year-old miniature pincher, she cute as a button. So, um, anyways, about, um, me, as you all know, in April, April 27th, I had my boots done. And so I made a joke to my cousin Juan, talking about boots for a minute, that I should get him bigger. Well, the doctor chose the size. You can see I'm wearing a heavy duty coat. But under this coat, that's my boob size. So when I'm wearing a short a shirt, a good shirt that shows it, you all see in previous videos of updates and stuff me wearing it in a warm warm uh place but right now it is not warm so i'm not going to be showing off my boots but i do love showing them because well they're my boots <laughs> so enough about boots as aaron would say but i want to throw that in there i'd love to get them bigger but i don't think it can be done so who knows right I could get them bigger, but there are certain types of implants I would choose. But enough about that. So, do I recommend this cigar? So far I do, but I'm going to recommend it probably anymore because it's my second favorite company out there. I know Nubs are on my list as number three, but Isabella tops it so far. Ms. Vaughn, I'm sorry to say, but I love Isabella the most. Now, I'm hoping uh, John Pye is watching this, John. Hopefully you bring out some more Vitolas. I would love to sample them. Um, I do want to say for all of you out there that have smoked these cigars, you know what I'm talking about. But for some of you out there, some places like um, Deadwood with Miss Vaughn's company, I highly recommend it. Um, I would say like in Bombay, um, other tobacco companies out there, that in my opinion, I recommend, uh, you know, I would love to try like in Bombay. Problem is, I can't try in Bombay unless I buy my own and it's not time to buy them. But when I do, I can review them, no problem. Felix Asling, Mr. Asling, I know you watched our channel. We reviewed your cigars. I should say I reviewed the rest of them, but Aaron didn't. And I gotta say, Mr. Asling cigars are probably number five on my list. My top cigar list is getting bigger. But that's only because I'm trying to sample. Now, Mr. Asling has some new cigars out there, apparently, that I haven't tried. And he said he'd sell me a five-pack or a single stick. But the thing is, is I just got to call and make the appointment to do it. So I might just do that soon and get some Felix Asling cigars for review for you all. Because I didn't get to review them all. Aaron did, Aaron reviewed most of them, I didn't, I just reviewed what was in Aaron's humidor when Aaron died. And I cleaned his humidor out, so I'm, you know, waiting for more. Now, as you all know, I do love canes, and the cane cigars I'm getting is the cane Habano and the cane Maduro, uh, you know, the Lajero, the pure Lajero sticks. Now, my cousin, I've told, he gets, he gets, 
24 of them. He gets 12 and 12. I get 12 and 12. Now, he doesn't like him. I get 46 cigars to go home. But more likely, I'm hoping he likes them because it was part of his present since I didn't get him anything for Christmas. So, that said, please stay tuned. I got a light canoe happening, I think, again. So, please stay tuned for the final third of this. Um, Sweet Jane Cigar by Deadwood Tobacco Company. Welcome back, everyone. The final third of this uh, Sweet Jane. Now, for some of you out there, if you see any food on my face, I had to shovel in before it got too cold with the door open some nachos that my cousin Tara, awesome kick ass cook, uh, excuse me, brought in. Now, Let's just say the players haven't changed. I've been smoking this and eating at the same time, which is very rare for me. So, talk about cigars for a second, but first, the flavors of this cigar is light cedar, light pepper, lajero, And little molasses. Great cigar overall. I mean, Miss Vaughn, if you're watching this, you did a great job on this complete stick. So, my cousin comes out, cousin in law, Tara. He says, Hey, Rita, I know you're busy doing a review. Before your dinner gets cold, here you go. I know you're reviewing. Which is awesome. I'm glad I have the support with my family. So, you know, I shoveled in like a dog, eating off the plate after... See, what happened is she had some chips, some nacho chips, tortilla chips. Not nacho chips, not Doritos. Doritos is pretty cool to use them as, as a, a nacho base with meat. But anyways... Sarah made this meal with hamburger, organic hamburger from Costco, onions, uh, I believe, um, different types of cheese, and olives, and a few other things, and man, was it just tasty. I mean, it was the tastiest thing I've had, besides my steak today. It was just am amazing nachos. Now, as you can tell, my fingers are climbing up a bit, it's because... I am getting pretty damn cold. Current temperature is 26 degrees out, so as you all know, I'm getting ready to sign off for the night and lock the door after I leave the door open to air out the garage for a few minutes and then probably have to strip my clothes, change my clothes, and wash the current clothes because I've had two cigars. So, um, so this cigar, do I recommend it? Of course I do. Like I said, this was a 2015, uh, Isabella, um, Isabella, uh, no, not Isabella, Deadwood Tobacco Sweet Jane. I just saw an email from my uncle, so I was like, eh. He thinks I'm changing my tickets to stay out here longer. Well, I'm going to try to get home as long as it's not snowing out there and the roads are completely unpassable. I will be getting home and I will be doing, staying home for about six to eight weeks or until the second minor surgery comes up. So, you know, that gives my family out here plenty of recuperation time. I, as I said in another video, not on this channel, but a different channel, that you know, I feel like I've overstayed my welcome. I am looking forward to doing, before I leave, the reviews of the Nub Cane F uh, 4x60 Habanos and the 4x60 Maduros and a unboxing as well as um, showing you the cool lighters. Now, I got these at 64% off per box. When I looked it up on other websites, did the calculations, the manufacturer suggested the retail price was 64% off. So, hmm, 
The Lajero is picking up in here. It's becoming a fight bomb. Because it's the final third of this the pull. It's 5 by 46 so it's point four shorter than a Robusto. So it might be considered maybe a Longdale or a Rothschild maybe. If anyone knows, please let me know. So before I make this video too long, I just want to say if you smoked this or you haven't, and you want to leave a comment, please do. Just keep it nice as all we ask. And please add subscribe, please post comments, please leave feedback suggestions. And uh, enjoy every.